Wait just a second there. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jack. I know I'm on the boat. How did this happen? Let me catch you guys up to speed on what's going on. We are packing up our stuff to leave the mountains. The time we spent here was great and I enjoyed it a lot, but it's time to move on. All right, everything's about done. We have packed up the barn. You can see I'm standing on grass because it's all just completely melted. So the car's getting loaded. I still gotta put my bag in it. And then we're off to Gallatin Field Airport. It's just, just the airport in Bozeman. I'm sad to be leaving. But at the same time, I'm ready to get on to the next adventure. If I stood here, there wouldn't be anything for me to do here. I've got a job waiting for me. I got things happening. I'm ready to get going. As much as I've loved my time here, it is, uh, it's time to leave. Who's that? I don't know. I don't know. You want a date? Mm, no. <laughs> we talked about this. You gotta stick to the script. Okay, I, okay. I mean, I, I don't know. I just don't really want to date you though. Oh. I just, you're not really that. Okay, maybe I do. <laughs> she said yes. These trash bags are all the bags we're taking and more. We've got a couple of big Cabela bags that are fully loaded coming back with us. We loaded the excursion and hit the road to the airport. She wanted me. A girl wanted you? This is news to me. You? Whoa. 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 That's kind of disgusting. That's what we kind of wheel. That's really gross. I didn't film too much in the airport in planes because I've gotten flack for filming there before. So, two flights later, we arrived in Florida. Oh, it smells good in here. Oh, yeah. We're back. I know I didn't take any film of the plane because sometimes I'm lazy, but we're here and you know, Mackenzie did do a Zatara Med Crew interview. <laughs> Anyway, the next question. What do you think is the biggest problem in the world today? Good question. My original answer to this was just that people are too sensitive, but I felt like I could go a little bit deeper with that because sensitivity is just an outcome that bases from a bigger um, issue in the world. And I'd say that bigger issue is programming in schools and media, which leads to division, a lot of division, which then leads to too much sensitivity in the world. People are too sensitive to a lot and it's really tearing the world apart we said no we said no we didn't accept her but now yeah. she somehow managed to make her way here i weaseled my way in because they denied me i'm like i gotta get in there gotta ruin their lives somehow oh no no bye bye no. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're slapping each other's butts now. No, we're not. What do you think about my room? I like your room. It's really cozy. Yeah. Yeah. You see my <laughs> my big TV right there? Oh wow, that's awesome. We have to move. We have to move the boat down to Grenada, which is the southernmost point of the Caribbean, which is a long ways down there. But we're gonna get the engine swapped, and then we're gonna move down there, and. Missy might be tagging along for that whole endeavor. Mm -hmm. On a row. On, okay, he's so focused there. He is, he is locked in. You know this black one off? Yeah, yeah, you can't There you go. That's a mess. Just like that. We're off. I didn't film too much of us getting back on the boat, but we're back, we're here, we're near, and we're going to Fort Lauderdale to do an engine fix, engine swap, swap the engines. The way over was pretty good, got a little bit of sailing in, and we arrived. So, Ooh, it's bright out here. The marina we're in, I don't know if you can see it here. You see the bottom right there, all along there. I can see, I can even see it right here. You need three feet? I need three feet to get that, that probably three and a half feet to get the, the rudder out. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know, we recently lost half a rudder on the Atlantic Passage en route to the Caribbean. We don't know exactly what it was, but we haven't fixed it yet. We're at low tide right now. We're getting into low tide. Yeah. 
So depending on how much is underneath the rudder right now, I know the high tide is a meter. Three feet. Yeah, so go down there and figure out what's underneath it right now. Mm -hmm. And then we can add whatever high tide is to it. Mm. The reason we're talking about the depth and the tide difference is because we need at least three feet to pull that rudder out. So me being me, I jumped in the water and went to go check how deep it actually was. And you can see here in this video, it is not very deep at all. I mean, I'm putting my hand right there. There's little to no clearance. I also went to check the keel because I wanted to see if that was in the mud. In fact, it was in the mud. You can see the back of it is in the mud. There's a line right there of how deep it has dug into it. But here, the front of the keel, it isn't as deep in the mud as the back. So the verdict is we're not gonna take the rudder out here. Next order of business, we gotta get these old engines out of the boat. You guys have seen my videos. We have had to do so much maintenance on these guys, but we're swapping them with newer, better engines. We're using the mainsail halyard. So here's how it went. All right, we're out of the hole, so yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be out there on the dark watching. Let me get out of your way here, brother. I got this, I got this. Uh, hold on, hold on. One engine done. One more remaining. Let's do it. Do what? Did we spend time in this hole? Oh yeah, dude. Now that is a weird sight. They drain the oil out right there, it looks like. Some of it at least. That's not actually all full of oil. There's a, it's just the top layer that has oil on it. Does the new engine have a different kind of mounting? For that? No, it's the same kind of mounts, but they get they're different. They'll pull those mounts off. This will all get cleaned up, and then. Oh, I like that they're cleaning it. <laughs> Why were you doing that? <sighs> I don't want to clean that. Uh, what well, they're gonna paint it? It's gonna be painted, clean. They're gonna paint all the way, paint all the way back there, everywhere. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. Is the mechanic isn't gonna be the one cleaning, man? No, no, it? the fiberglass guys. I got you. The guys that cut the holes. And just like that, they're on to the next engine. It was the same process, pretty slow, mellow, kind of nerve wracking putting those engines over the water, but things went smoothly. These guys were very coordinated, good use of communication, and they definitely knew what they were doing. I would have been nervous as hell if I was put in their position. Yeah. And that is the second engine done. Now all that's left is clean it and then Put the new ones in, but that'll be later. Yeah, I'll update you guys then. Thank you, Cabrina. Thank you, Adventure Sports, for setting them up right. 
What do you think, Jack? Let's go! You can be in this, Ma. You, you, you don't gotta hide away. Let me get a kiss. Aww. <laughs> I love you. If you can't tell, we stopped by Adventure Sports in Fort Lauderdale. We were invited to look at the warehouse, and let me tell you, there were kites on kites on cats. Yeah, it's, that's, I'm pretty sure that's a dog. Mackenzie liked the animals. We got set up on kites for Tonga. And then we went to my favorite place. Chick-fil-A is my favorite. I know it's terrible. I said in my City Boy video, I had Chipotle. A little bit of Chipotle, and that's great. I do like Chipotle, but Chick-fil-A is just, it's just there. It just hits different. I know I'm eating it quite a bit since we've been back in America, but I'm not gonna get it in Tonga. I don't have a lot of incentive to not eat Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. The people that work at Chick-fil-A are always so friendly. Mm -hmm. Nice. And they're really happy to like work there. You have such a Chick-fil-A so advertisement face. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I love Chick-fil-A. I eat it. One time I, I was eating Chick-fil-A so much during the week that I was like, man, I I have to reflect on how much Chick-fil-A oh. I'm, I'm eating. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. It's perfect. I love you two so much. Give me a kiss. That's all you get. No tongue. No, not on camera. Hey, man. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, okay, okay. What are y'all doing? We're going to do our first open water dive to get our scuba certificates. Oh, scuba certificate certification. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna dive in open water for the first yeah. time. I'm so excited to see I'm it. I'm so excited, dude. So it's excited. Gonna be totally awesome, dude. It's uh, the Eurojax. Oh, you think so? I mean, I don't know. I, I think. Uh, hey, Dad. You feeling like good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. First open water dive for Mackenzie. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Originally we were going to use our dinghy to do these dives, but Brett here watches our show and said, hey, why don't you come and use my boat? I've got two 300 horsepower engines on it and plenty of space. So it got us where we needed to go, no problem. So Mackenzie and Kate have to do two dives today and they did. The guide Jorge got tons of footage of them under the water. They saw some pretty cool stuff. Take a look at this. You cold? Yeah. How'd they do, Jorge? Very good. They did it very well. <laughs> that was pretty neat, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. So Wait, can I pick up my bag? Yeah, here you go. Jorge coming up. We had to go back down to grab the the line. So I used my alternate. And then as we were coming up, we ran out. Okay. You ran out of air? Basically, there's well, a little like, left, a little left. I would be helping them, I swear, but I just wanted to film a little bit for you guys. Because it's exciting. So, how was that first dive, Mackenzie? That was the second dive, actually. Oh yeah, second dive. The first dive was great, bad. but the second dive, I think, was better because we saw more fish. And I saw a turtle, I saw three sharks, a ton of puffer mm -hmm. fish, and a lobster, I think. Yeah, Kate saw, Kate's the one that found the lobster. And that's a first for me with seeing all those things mm -hmm. so that was really really oh, I was having a lot of fun down there I was waving at all the fish <laughs> it was great I'd go back like down that. but I'm too tired mm -hmm. I also want to add that I think it's so neat seeing a person who has not really done much you know ocean based ocean based activities jump into our life and go straight into it. And I love that Kate and her are getting their open water diving certificate at the same time together. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. It's a great experience. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I'm having so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. I will catch you guys later. Sorry. Later. 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 later.